hanging on for a little bit there. We are back. <sighs> Looks like we're going to be playing some Star Trek. Yeah. They never. They didn't hear what I said at the last at the end of your last stream. Oh, sucks. <laughs> but um. Funny as hell. Was it was completely hilarious. Um, we are back now, but uh, since we are playing ourselves a special edition broadcast of the Chains of Harrow, we are going to wait for a full team. I don't want to play that with randoms or nothing like that. So far, another. It looks like it may be single player, but. I want to play it at the same time as other multi, uh, as other you know guys on my team or in my alliance or just good friends that I you know I play around with all the time. Um, like thank you for Salty Hobbit who's actually inside the party here today and Snap Train who we're still waiting on. Hello. His uh his uh download as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna play some Star Trek online. Just kind of wait a little bit till my brother gets off. My brother gets off about nine o'clock this evening. Um, we'll probably touch back on it then this way. Even if it is a single player mission, we'll all be playing our single player missions right around the same time. So you'll be able to get the views, uh, advice, tips, tricks, anything like that from everybody all at the same time. And you won't have to wait for, you know, audio for those guys to kind of hear what they have to say. And you know, I like to say we could chime in all at the same time. But at this moment right now, we're going to play some Star Trek online. We'll, you know, you'll be able to see how that plays. I've found that there's a lot of Trekkies out there that I didn't know were out there before. I thought I was, you know, probably one of the biggest Trekkies. But I'm starting to find that there's a lot more people that like Star Trek online. It's actually a really cool game. It's made by the same makers that make Neverwinter, Dungeons and Dragons. So let's, uh, let's get in there right now. We're trying to figure out a few things. Because it's a newer game, I'm guessing. It doesn't have a big help screen to look at. I mean, granted, Star Trek has been around a long time, but this game, I'm not sure exactly when they made it. But uh, whenever they did, they don't have a great help screen. So pretty much we're learning a lot of the functionality, gameplay, um, menu items, and, and, and ways to, to do certain things by ourselves. Salty Hobbit is trying to figure out at this moment what she actually did, how to fire a officer so he can recruit another. Um, in my case, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how to get extra officer slots so that I can fill my fourth crew station, which is a, a, a ensign engineering station, as you see here. I only have... Uh, my lieutenant engineering station filled, but I'm going to uh, try to fill that one. It gives me the same guy that's already in a station. I did find how to fire them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew how to fire them. You I was going to actually tell you that. Okay. You got to go to, um, what is that one? Uh, the the Ridge career. Officers. Yeah. Under the ship and crew. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, bridge officers. Then you can uh, recruitment. Not recruitment. Uh, no, you go to you go to bridge officers. You go to the officer you want to fire. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You go to the officer. Yeah, you go click to the on career. them, and then you go over to the Smith officer. Yeah, yeah. I knew where it was. I was just like, I'm in. I'm trying to get myself back in in focus after going out here and fixing the steering column on my uh, lawnmower. I had to install a new piece to put the steering column back right. But that went really, really quickly. And, and here we are back in the game. Now we're just trying to figure out. Now, see, we've got recruit new officers. I've got two new officers that I can recruit that I can do, but it says not now. I've got a Vulcan engineering officer who I want to put on because I need to put him in that fourth slot. And I have a tactical officer who technically is a Klingon, which I do want to put him in there, but I don't want to get rid of Kolez. Well, in my case, I renamed him. So his name is now Kolaz. I, I should have put a, like an O, another O in there and called him Cool Ass. You know, like Cool Ass, but I didn't want to do that. So I left it alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do want to like hire these two officers that I have, especially this Vulcan engineering officer, which is quite ironic, really. Because if, if I go to my actual bridge officers, Oh, okay, my Vulcan is my science officer, which is funny. I started to give her a last name of Spock, you know, kind of make it kind of cool, like it was like his daughter or some shit. But, you know, what? I thought about it because you never know if that comes up somewhere along the lines. And um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to screw with that. Um, 
but I've only got one bridge engineering off, one engineering bridge officer at the moment. And I need that Vulcan bridge officer and I need that Klingon tactical. You can't never have a tactical officer and then not have a Klingon tactical officer. Like, they're bred for war. So, yeah. That Nisorian bridge officer, he's a tactical. And, you know, I don't see how you can. I don't see yeah, where you see. Yeah, tactical bridge officers. I don't, don't see where you have... see a sorry. No, you were the one who said it. I was saying a Saurian. Yes. You were misinterpreting it as a sorry. Oh, you were saying a, like the the word a, and the letter a, a and then the a. word Saurian. Yeah. But you said something about it resembles uh, Mass Effect's uh, sorry? No, the fucking. Whatever they're called, the fucking lizard face guys. Um, yeah, Asari. Mass Effect. Asari? No, not the Asari, the other ones. The one that, the, the, the race that the Reapers Oh, Torian, Torian. With. Torian, that's what they are. Okay, okay, I got, oh, okay, I get you, that's basically almost spelled the same. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right, I, I get what you're saying, yeah. They, they, they and you know, they kind of, like, uh, they could resemble them almost in the face because the, I think it's the nose area that makes them kind of resemble them in the face is what you're trying to say. Because the Torians, their face is similar as far as like smooth and there's no nose really there. Except a couple of holes in the face, I think. But again, that's cool. That was the resemblance you were trying to come across. You just couldn't remember the name. Okay. I want. Uh, we were both half sleep last nope, night. Not to so, save my life. You know, <laughs> but we were both half sleep last night. So basically, trying to remember shit and talk about shit like that was like um, fucked up. Cause I was falling asleep in the game. I was like, fuck that. I had to go to bed. So not shortly after you went, I took my ass and went to sleep too. But you know, it is what it is. We're here, bright eyed, bushy tailed, wide awake, fucking. Um, going hard. I think we're awake, but <laughs> okay. Maybe him not being wide awake, but he's awake, nonetheless. All right, all right. So until I can figure out exactly how to hire a new bridge officer, like I don't have any available officer slots to put. That's what it is. I'm trying to figure out how to get new officer slots, and it's not. Let me open that up really quickly. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. We're actually gonna. Actually, gonna open up the channel in front of my and mute the shit out of this damn thing so I don't hear anything. There we go. Okay, that says convert to manual. Okay, so that's not what I want to do. I don't want to convert it to manual. Like, see, it literally doesn't say anything as far as you know. Um. Because in order for me to be able to see anything on the bottom of my screen, I need to open. I've actually got to open up Twitch because I can't remove the the overlay. I can't move the overlay. Unfortunately, it won't let me move the overlay. So, there's no room on the USS Collective for a new bridge officer, sir. Yeah, I know. But it says here that I can...
I just realized that you could actually, you you could actually, like any new commission officers that you get, you can actually convert them to manuals. Um, Basically what it is, is you you get them to write you a manual on one specific thing and then they kind of dismiss them. Um, (laughs) But the two that I got here, I don't want to dismiss, I want to use them. So I'm not going to do that, but I was looking into the convert manual thing. But it looks like you only get to choose one thing to convert them to in their specific field, you know, whether it be tactical, engineering, or science. No. Yeah. Hi. Right. And then you use those manuals somehow to upgrade your your um to upgrade your 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 current commander's skills, abilities, or something like that. I just have yet to figure that out as well. Because it says it allows you to train one bridge officer in the use of a new ability. But I'm thinking that, because I have a training manual, but the training manual I have is for the beam rifle. And neither one of my tactical officers have that training manual or have that that ability stashed in their, their little repertoire that they've got. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering if they... If the manual you have, if the commander you have, the the officer you have has to have that specific one within its ability, um, its ability tree in order for you to use it. Because the one I got is a fire, it says fire at will, and neither one of them have that, that ability. Now, I don't know. I'm trying to learn, but like I said, with no manual, it's hard to know what to do and how to do it. Because this manual, it literally, if you look at the help manual, there's literally like two things there and ain't there, none of them anything about training, anything. (laughs) Not that I don't care, it's that I just don't know and I don't... Oh no, I didn't say you didn't care, or I know that, I'm just like, eh. At the point, I'm at the same boat right now. It's like, eh. But I'm trying to learn. You know, I'm trying to learn so I can... On this little game feed, I'd like to be able to teach this to... The people that are viewing us. Like, the two viewers. Well, the one viewer that I... Extra viewer that I have. Hey, welcome to the show. Um, Because one of them is me. I can tell you that right now because I have my window open. Um... Not quite sure who the other one is, but um, Musk and my first ship requisition. Awesome. Good job. That means you've hit Lieutenant Commander. No, I've got to do this mission first, and then I will be Lieutenant Commander. That's what I figured. Yep, yep. That means you're catching up pretty quickly here. That's good. Mm-hmm. So that means that'll be me. I got my first, uh... Tigers, that's four. I got my first phaser phaser blaster. I switched nice. out for the front. I switched the front beam out for the phaser blaster. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about, um, as far as your actual away team weapons? No, my ship weapons. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got a whole good Mark II set going on. (coughs) And, uh. Are we in battle clusters? 